All right, guys, welcome back to another type tier list video on Pokemon Go. And today, the typing we're going to look at is water. Um, water is going to be a weird one because there is a few additions that we need to talk about, especially with some of the Pokemon that are coming up in the most recent event. Um, so I will go over the one that's in water and then I'll go over Groudon's one as well. Um, so if we look at this list, currently it is Mega Swampert, Blastoise, Mega Gyarados, then Primal Kyogre, which would show that you don't need to go as hard for Primal Kyogre because you've got these other three which are better. However, if we look at the latest stats with the new move Origin Pulse, um, I'll put it on screen here. And there you go, guys. As you can see, the latest in stats is that Primal Kyogre will outweigh all the Megas in that division. Obviously, Ash Greninja is not released yet. It, is knowing it hasn't even been looked at in the game. It's just on the list of Pokemon, which will do a lot of damage. However, if you look at this, it should have Water Shuriken for Ash Greninja. So that should boost up here somewhere. But that's somewhere in the future. However, looking at the move Origin Pulse, it gets a three point boost on the Mega Swampert, showing that Kyogre, maxed out, will do so much more damage than a Mega Swampert. Obviously, Mega Swampert, Mega Blastoise, and also, hold on, Mega Gyarados, um, they're all going to be easier to get due to the more like more possible spawns for all these. So you've obviously got Magikarp there as well, um, Squirtle, Mudkip. You know they're very easy to get in the game. So you are most likely to find that you will get them a lot easier to maxed. Um, because the only time Kyogre Primal will be out for, for I'd say, about six months is going to be the Hoenn Tour. If we look at Latios and Latias, who are coming out next week... Let me just get my game out. Um, I will have a look to see when the most recent one we caught is to show how long it might take for them to come back in raids. Um, hold on. Latias. So they came out in, looks like May. Yeah, so they came out in May of last year and we're in February of this year. So you're looking at nearly a year before Kyogre and Groudon will come back as primals if we go off them. So I'd recommend going hard for this Kyogre if you've got the tickets, uh, not tickets, if you've got the raid passes to do so. Um, obviously you can't go with this Vegas event unless you're going, you can't use your remote raid passes to do the raids there. However, at the global event you will see a lot of these primals around and I'd say do as many as you can. This is the main reason this event is out. To show these two Pokemon off and how powerful they are. Um, just to give you an idea as well. Let me show you what Groudon's power is as well. As I do have his screenshots. Give me two seconds. Alright guys. And as you see on screen. This is Primal Groudon's power. He goes up to the same attack strength as the Kyogre. Which is three points higher than the Mega Garchomp. And then obviously Groudon just below. Shadow Mamoswine, Mega Swampert, Garchomp. So these two Pokemon instantly go to the top of their tier without any issues whatsoever. They will dominate the next five months in their typings. Obviously, Primal Groudon does get the fire typing from being Primal. Um, I think it's like 6th or 7th on the fire tier. There is so much more competition in the fire tier. Um, but if you're, if Groudon with just normal Pacific Blades is going above Shadows, 
Same thing with Kyogre. I believe Kyogre is the top normal Pokemon now above Shadow as well. Then that's how much these moves improve that Pokemon. That they go above Shadow Pokemon, which has always been Shadows are better than normals. And then obviously you've got Megas above them. So definitely go hard for these Pokemon as they do improve your team by a lot. Obviously they will be banned in PvP, the primal versions. However, the normal Pokemon should still be able to be used. Uh, most likely in the Master League. But you're getting a lot of use out of them. So anyway, we've gone over the two moves that are coming out in the next couple of days. Um, if you're going to the Vegas event, and if you're not, it'll be a week away. So, so let's look at currently, without Origin Pulse, what is the best Pokemon to have in your water type team and what I would use moving forward. Um, we will do, I brought out a template for like a outline. It's still not complete yet, so I will still use the other one that we've got for the like best three at the end, but we'll go over that soon. So, if we're looking at normal Pokemon, and this isn't including Megas or Shadows, Kyogre is still top of that list with Waterfall and Surf, and it just gets better when Origin Pulse comes out. Then you've, obviously these guys will be here for two days, and then you probably won't see them for a good three to four months. So, well, probably longer than that, actually. Probably about six, seven, eight months before these guys come back. So, try and get as much candy as you can. Um, I know that the event, there's a ticket to get more raid passes and then three times candy and stuff. I'm tempted to do that for myself just so I can get the most out of this Kyogre and Groudon raids as I can. Um, but I wouldn't recommend anyone else to do it because it is quite a lot of money. Um, then you've got normal Swampert with Water Gun and Hydro Cannon. Very good Pokemon to have, very easy to find in the wild. Um, so I definitely recommend trying to get one of them. Then you're looking at Feraligator, Samurott. Um, the reason why starters are so like in the top tier is because of this move here hydro cannon with hydro cannon it pushes all starters up the list same as frenzy plant same as blast burn it it's a really good move and it just pushes all them pokemon up the dps tier list um so yeah you'll see a lot of starter pokemon at the top just because they get that move um, then you, without the stars, you're looking at a Gyarados, also very easy to get, Magikarp is all over the place. I think at today alone, I've seen about 10. And I don't live near water, so definitely easy to get to. Hydro Pump isn't a legacy move, so get it rel relatively easily. Uh, Chloritz, uh, I haven't got one of them in my decks yet, I do have the Candy for one, I'm just trying to get a really good one. Then you've got Kingler, Vaporeon. Kingler's a lot less common now. Krabby, you don't see that many around. Don't know if it's different if you live near water. Um, however, Vaporeon, there's so many Eevees around. So many. You'll be able to top tier, to get a top tier Vaporeon relatively easily. And then you've got Blastoise. And then Milotic. Now Milotic's a bit more difficult to get because you need to walk it for 20 kilometers before you can get to evolve the Feebas. So my recommendations will be sticking to starters. Now this is will happen for the first three to type in. So you got fire, grass, water. They are going to be the top on them three. And then we should get into different Pokemon, hopefully, in the other typings. Um so let's move on to Shadow Pokemon here. So you've got Shadow for Alligator with Water Gun and Hydro Cannon. It's pretty weird that these two are swapped around because then they're below each other here. Um, then you've got Shadow Swampert. Shadow Gyarados. I haven't seen Mega... Oh, sorry, Shadow Magikarp come back for a long time. And I don't even think I've got one. So 
That'll be a very difficult one to get. The same as Shadow Kingler. Don't see many of them around either. <laughs> then the next one behind it, Shadow Blast. You should see a lot of Squirtles around in the Treacherous Waters category. Shadow Kingdra. Never seen a Shadow Horse here, I don't think, in my account either. Shadow Whalemer. I think I saw one or two of them. So, I'm going to say that the best ones to go for are the Shadow for Alligator, Shadow Swampert. Um, and just to put another shadow on there, I'd go Blastoise because they are. I'm going for the most popular that can do a good enough job for you in a raid or PvP. And the starters for these three typings just kill everything. Um, you get the most candy for them. They're easy to max out because of it, and you will still do a lot of damage in raids. So can't really complain there. Um. Also, for the other Pokemon, if you do have Shadow Gyarados, Shadow Kingler, get them up to a good um, CP if you can. They'll also help you out in raids as well. Um, I would recommend keeping a Shadow Gyarados at quite a high tier, just in case they do allow Megas to Shadow Pokemon, because if they bring out a Mega Shadow for out, uh, Mega. Shadow Gyarados, that kind of thing, is going to wipe the floor with most things. So, And then, let's get down to the Megas. Obviously, we know now that Kyogre is up here with Origin Pulse, a bug Mega Swampert. Um, very decent Pokemon, obviously coming back very soon. Very hard to defeat, I think, is going to happen, because it's going to be a 6-star raid. Latias, everyone thought was going to be easy really wasn't so definitely recommend getting a party of seven or eight for this just to knock it down quickly to get the most energy out of these raids as you can then you've got mega swampert this is probably going to be the best pokemon you can use to get candy on the event itself because especially if you've got it maxed because you don't have time to max out a primal kyogre which is unfortunate once again starters are very top tier here because they're very easy to get a hold of very easy to get hydro cannon and it is legacy move so if you can keep them for a com day even better um mega gyarados will most likely be getting a classic com day soon we've already had lavatar um bulbasaur so one day mega gyarados at magic Art will have a classic com day um, then you got Primal Kyogre again with just Surf. Um, for Kyogre, I'm going to have Waterfall, Origin Pulse, and then Poi Thunder. Gives it a good uh, damage one against like flying types, that kind of thing. Um, Mega Slowbro, not very good. Not even good as a Psychic type. And then I think that's all the Megas on this list. So, the Megas I'd be going for, Mega Swampert, Mega Blastoise, and just because they are coming out soon, I would go Primal Kyogre. Um, Mega Gyarados was out recently, however, it was for like a day. So, I definitely, I don't know, was it more than a day for the next one? The, it's been out twice, and it came for like a week and then a one day event, so... This one might be a bit less popular because it was quite a lot to Mega Evolve. I think it was 300 to begin with. Um, I do have three max level Mega Gyaradoses just because of the way I do Mega Raids. Um, but because it's a Dark type, I didn't have Houndoom at the time. So I needed a Dark type Mega that was maxed out as well. So yeah. Best Pokemon I'd be going for in this category would be Swampert, Blastoise, and Kyogre. Just because Kyogre is coming out soon and will be top of this tier. Alright guys, well I'm actually going to leave this video here. I'm not going to bring out the template, um, not until it's finished. I thought it's best to do. Wait and show you how the video is going to look moving forward. So I will do that in the next one. Next typing, I will probably do Electric. Now I know my Pokemon aren't like my one of my favourites isn't gonna be at the top. Um I do like a lot of Pikachu's, but I like all the costumes. I think it's just easy to customise, especially as it's a mascot. Whilst it's the mascot, 
I think that's going to change soon due to Ash being out of the anime. Um, so I'm guessing it'll be one of the Scarlet and Violet starters that will take over. We will see. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, thank you all for 100 subs. I know we got it in the last video, but I just thought I'd mention it here as well. It means a lot that 100 people subscribe to the channel. And I'm really looking forward to the future and seeing where this community grows to. So... Please leave a like, comment on this video, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Speak to you next time.